up y'all i'm back with another clothes video once again i am gonna get very sweaty trying on obscene amounts of clothing yeah i love it all right that's enough of that so yeah it's my very first fashion clothing video of 2021 and i thought what better way to start off the year with uh, even though it's literally march but <laughs> whatever <laughs> go crazy go stupid also if anyone is wondering why i'm acting like an absolute psycho in this it is because i have had like three cups of coffee on an empty stomach this morning so <laughs> So anyways, um, I figured I would do my first fashion video of the year with my favorite sort of fashion, thrifted fashion. <laughs> so I wanted to call it a thrift haul and I still might actually call it a thrift haul, but it is just like several thrift hauls worth of shit. And when I say several, I mean 10 shopping trips worth of shit. I've actually had to cut down a lot of the stuff. I'm just gonna hop right the heck in and start trying on these outfits and you can just see what I mean about absurd amounts of clothing because holy crap. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like obsessed with sex in the city the way I am. And there's the one episode, I think it was in like season three, when the girls go to LA and Carrie is like, she like screams off the balcony at the hotel. She's like, sir, I have an addiction. Me, but instead of cigarettes, it's clothing. All right, let's get it, baby. So scandalous. This is more coverage than the average bathing suit, but whatever, people are still gonna think I make it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one on. So for my first outfit, this little layered number that I'm gonna do, I found this super cool. It's like one of those second skin kind of tops, you know what I mean? These are literally like all over TikTok and like Pinterest and everything. It's usually like the long sleeve version of them, but I swear to God, everyone has like stolen them from the thrift stores because because they're trending, so I can't find any. So I did find this one. What is it? Liz Claiborne. All right, let's see here. All right, uh, hello. I have these like little knee high boots that I got from Shein. They're so comfortable, very well made. I'm gonna link these down below um, because I just feel like every single person needs to own these boots. They're sick. Can you see these? My room is so small. I'm working with limited space. So I did think this outfit could look kind of cool, like maybe with a belt. Here's it all together. It's interesting. I'm just throwing shit together at this point. Okay, seriously, I have been searching for one of these cardigans, like the ones with the faux fur on them. It doesn't make sense with this outfit, but somehow it kind of does. It doesn't make sense at all, but for some reason I still really like this outfit. Um, would I wear this in public? Possibly. Would I get looks? Yes. Anyways, I don't know. I mean, it's like interesting. I'm gonna put this with other outfits as well, but this bag, I finally found one of these like sick mini bags. So if you're addicted to TikTok like I am, you see these on there and I'm like, I need one and I found it. I really don't know how I'm feeling about this outfit. It's strange to say the very least. I'm gonna take it off now though. So I was actually a little bit unsure on how to style this skirt because it's just odd, but I went with something weird as hell per usual. That doesn't make any sense. So you can like see like it's, it's like mesh. I don't know. It doesn't make sense at all, but I like it sort of. I'm still on the fence on it. So I just popped on this like zebra print kind of top with it. Let me like style it a little more and like see if it comes together. I don't know. I am putting on these boots again because you know what? Let's just make this outfit even more absurd. It's got potential. It's interesting. Yes, this is now my fourth cup of coffee if you're wondering. Maybe if I like added like a jacket or something with it. I have a feeling this is gonna look idiotic, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I already have like lost my mind, I feel like. I'm confused why I don't hate this. It's not bad. It's not great either. All right, we're moving on now. My next little thrifted piece, <laughs> sick blazer. So early 90s to me. A little small for me, so I can't like button it all the way. Clearly, I'm not taking these boots off. 
It's the lack of creativity for me. Mm. Wait. I don't know why y'all, but I personally love this. And the purse. <laughs> I don't know if I'm overreacting or anything, but like I love this combo. Like the hat with the jacket. All right. On to the next outfit. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Okay, I haven't styled it yet, so don't judge it yet. It's kind of cool. Once I style it, you might be able to see like my weird ass vision that I had in my head when I saw this at like Value Village. And like, I've never seen anything like this before. Probably for good reason, but you know what? I liked it. Just bear with me, but I'm gonna pop on this vintage chain. It's like a knockoff Versace. Um, am I gonna put on the same white boots again? You bet your gosh darn it, golly gee ass I am. You gotta admit it's kind of cool, right? And I also think it'd be really cool with tights and like little black booties if it was like cool outside. I like it. And I'm the one who's wearing it, so I guess that's all that matters. It's called fashion sweaty, look it up. Okay, the outfit as a whole, I think is super cool. I like it, I like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think of this. Um, anyways, next outfit. This outfit is kind of outside of my comfort zone, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get more on trend with the whole tennis skirt thing and like the, you know, the sweatshirt thing over top of them hear that siren like anyways um so i'm trying to get more on trend with that it's actually from shein i did not thrift this did thrift this little sweater thing like half zip thing going on right here it's very soft i got these also from shein i always see people wearing them and i'm just not like a hair accessory girl I'm trying to branch out a little more I'm gonna go with the brown. I don't like it. Let's just make it even weirder. We're just like really going off the rails here. I'm just kind of blacked out at this point. I'm just throwing clothes on my body. I don't know what's happening. The layering always makes everything better. I'm very hot though right now, I will say, because I'm literally double layering sweaters. Get a little sweaty. So I'm gonna take this off now. All right, so next little thrifted thing is this sick blazer. I actually got this jacket while I was in the mountains when we were in Tennessee. We stopped at this little thrift store and I found this for, I think it was like, $12 or something like that. I popped it on over like a little black mini dress. Ooh, I kind of like that. Also have this like little thrifted mini bag kind of thing that I got from Goodwill. Um, I kept on the same little heels from the last outfit. I don't know, like I I love this. If it's like too cold outside to just wear bare leg, you could throw in some black booties with some tights and it would still kind of matched the whole aesthetic of like keeping it very monochromatic. This one might be one of my favorites. Moving on. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I actually like this or not. I will say one thing though, it does have pockets. Popped it on with some docks. <sighs> Let me, hold on. Like once you like kind of style it a little bit, it's not horrible. It's just kind of basic. Let me change the boots and see if like I get a different vibe. It's all about trial and error, people. It's still not like 100% there, but like this looks better. In the fall time though, this would be really cute with tights. It's growing on me, I will say. I tried it on yesterday. I was just like staring at myself in the mirror and I was just like, mm, mm, mm. All right, I think I'm like losing my coffee high a little bit. And I think I need some more. On to the next. So I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to style this shirt. I bought it because I keep seeing these shirts all over TikTok and Pinterest. It's like that little kind of like second skin kind of top. I don't know what to do with it. Like it's so cute though. It's like, I don't know how to style it. And like, I put it with jeans and it looked terrible because the blue on blue, like it just, it didn't, it was not cohesive. We're gonna move on from this one. I just wanted to show off how cool the shirt was. Maybe if I like button it up one more or something. The way I like unbuttoned and rebuttoned it, it made it like a little bit more flattering. Very like 90s kind of vibe to it. It's not bad. The more I'm like looking at it, the more I like it. Like it's, 
it's not bad. I think I have like one or two more outfits left. Yeah, let me change. All right, so this next outfit is partially thrifted. I got this dress from a local boutique the other day. I just popped it on with this leather jacket to kind of like toughen it up a little bit. I don't know, I thought it kind of like gave it a different element to it. All right, so here's like a different kind of direction you could go with it. This is kind of cute, like definitely like a little brunch outfit. It's just, it's a lot for me. It's very bright, I don't know. I like my dark colors, but it's cute. Like, I think this is like just girly enough for me. Anyways, last outfit for this video. Definitely more in my niche in this one. Dark, animal print, neutrals. You can't go wrong here, baby. Bear with me. I don't know if this is gonna look hideous or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, One of my favorite blazers I have ever thrifted in my life. Like, I'm obsessed with this thing. See? trust the process people somehow all these like random prints together make for a pretty cohesive outfit popped on these little sunnies i love this outfit i think this is pretty sick i think this one's my favorite of the whole video actually i need to run some errands today and i think i'm gonna wear this my motto in life when it comes to my clothing if you don't make some middle-aged person give you a dirty look or like stare at you like what is she wearing then you know what you didn't do a good enough job getting dressed that morning go back home put on another layer look more ridiculous go back out get some dirty looks and then you know what you did your job correctly at that point i think i just live my life in like too much chaos or something so anyways here's the last fit all right we have made it to the end of the video i had to change because i was sweating in that wool coat i was gonna finish it up in that but i was literally dying thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching my video i know i have not been super consistent with posting since the beginning of the year i have just been dealing with like a lot of mental health stuff and that was my first priority to just make sure that i was okay i kind of had to take a little step back but i am getting better now it is a working progress and i am working very hard towards my goal of just making sure that I am happy. Please do not forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video.